this deep swooshing arch for girls with flat feet if you know you know the girls that get it get it the girls that don't don't this is not for us hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Deej morris and i am back with another video today's video is going to be a collective shoe haul some shoes that i got from ego official um, I have three random pairs that are not from Ego, but like literally 95% of this haul are shoes from Ego Official because I bought a bunch of shoes for their Black Friday sale. So the other shoes, I have one pair from Shein, one from ASOS, and one from Torrid, I believe it is. So I'll be showing you guys those shoes. This haul is from my sisters with the big, flat, wide feet. I got you guys covered, okay? So make sure you keep on watching. Make sure you like comment and subscribe join the youtube family and let's get straight into the haul you guys all right you guys so the first shoes that i have are from shein and they are a pair of boots and they are these sexy beautiful boots right here this is a really great dupe for the versace intrico i think it's called the boots they're basically the versace medusas but in the boot version and you guys these are super cute they're actually really nicely made given they're from shein and what i love is that this part here stretches so it's good if you have bigger calves because you do have some stretch here it's not a ton of stretch but it's a pretty decent amount plus we have the zipper on the inside so that makes it a lot easier to put this shoe on but overall i really really like it the heel is high not gonna lie to you i'm 5'9 and i feel like with these on i felt like i was like 6'3 like the heel is crazy but the good thing about this shoe is that it is a platform so that makes it really easy to walk in it has a lot of space it's a true size 11 so i was really happy about that because sometimes when you order shoes on shein they're cut a little bit small so i was a little bit worried but when i got this fit perfectly i had space my toes weren't like touching the front so i was really happy about that and the color it was a color for me they also came in a brown and i'm not sure if i saw a black or not but i feel like these would be really cute in black but i got the green just because i have a lot of black and brown so i figured this would be cute different than what i normally have so i'm really really excited to wear these but when i tried them on they were pretty comfortable platforms are typically on the more comfortable side so that's what i love about them but you guys these are super cute great for my wide foot sisters so i'm really really happy with these i have no complaints shein did what they had to do they understood the versace assignments okay period so let me show you guys the next pair of shoes that i got all right my loves so the next pair of shoes that i have are these converse shoes right here and you guys these are sick like it's the platform for me like when i saw the platform chunky heel i said oh i need to get these like at the car period i got these on asos and they had like all the sizes available so i was really really happy about that so i got this in a size 11 i'm an 11 i feel like you could probably go maybe like a half size down like i think i could have got away with a 10 and a half but i didn't want to chance it so i got the 11 and they're still pretty good especially you know you're gonna put socks on and stuff like that so that's also something to consider but when i tell you comfortable like i literally feel like i'm walking on air when i put these on my feet like they're so comfortable and even though the heel is super chunky it's very light it's not as heavy as i thought they were gonna be so i'm pretty happy about that as well if you have big feet though i feel like these are gonna make your feet look even bigger that's my only concern with this is like my feet are gonna look like 10 times bigger than they already are but i don't really care because i think these are really cute they kind of remind me of a rick owens but not really i don't know when i saw them i thought rick owens but like a little bit cuter because the heel is more of a statement but comfortable as heck especially if you have wide flat feet you're gonna love these they're so comfortable i feel like i could walk in these all day so i'm really really happy with them they have like this gripping on the bottom um i was wearing them in a reel that i filmed earlier today and it literally left marks on the carpet downstairs it was so funny but you guys i would highly recommend these like super cute super fly i feel like you could do a lot with this in terms of outfits and you're going to be comfortable so who doesn't want that so definitely definitely recommend and let's get into the next pair of shoes you guys okay so the next shoes that i have are a thigh high pair of boots and i got them on torrid 
and they are these beauties right here hopefully i can fit them in the entire shot but obviously i'll have like clips inserted but i got these on torrid and again another really nice comfortable pair of shoes i bought them on torrid because when it comes to thigh highs for the plus size girls um I can't buy my shoes and stuff like on Fashion Nova and stuff because they're normally cut really, really small. Like they're made for people who have much smaller thighs than I do. So I don't even bother wasting my time. So I know that with Torrid, I will be able to get a pair of shoes that are actually going to fit my thighs when they say that they're thigh high. And a friend of mine, Sasha, you guys might know her, um, Flaws of Couture, I saw her wearing these boots and she said that she got them on Torrid. And when I saw her wearing them, she's also plus size. They fit her properly, so I know they would fit me. So I'm really, really happy that I, I got them. They're comfortable because it's a nice chunky heel, but it's not high. So you could definitely wear these all day, no problem. Like very, very comfortable. I've actually wore these out already. And one thing that I actually really, really, really love about these is that because they're thigh high, they have a gripping right here. Like a lining is kind of like sticky, um, but not, not too sticky, but you know, um, sticky enough so that it stays thigh high and you don't have it like, you know, falling down, slouching down. I don't like the ones that have like the little ties behind them because they're always sliding down. So I loved the fact that it had this little grip thingy on the inside. So I'd highly, highly recommend these. These are actually the first pair of shoes that I bought on Torrid and I would definitely go back and buy some more pairs now that I know how they fit. I got this in 11 probably could have also sized down in this as well um but i just hate taking that chance but i think maybe a 10 would have fit too but again i gotta factor in that i gotta wear socks and stuff with this so the 11 is fine but yeah i'm really really happy with these so those are all the shoes that i got from like other brands like i was saying to you guys before i bought most of the shoes that i'm going to be showing you guys in this haul from ego official now when we get to Ego Official, let me tell you, I ordered these shoes from their Black Friday sale. So I ordered these shoes on November 24th. <sighs> There's so much to say about Ego. So I've had really good experiences them with them in the past. So I was really just confident in or like placing this order. I didn't really think anything of it. They had a really great Black Friday sale. I got some of these shoes for like $12, $8, like really good prices. The only thing I will say with Ego is that they charge a lot for the duties. Um, if you're not in the UK, I live in Canada. So just be mindful, like if you do order on Ego, the duties are crazy on that site. But because the shoes were so cheap, it kind of offsetted the duties. So that's why I was okay with placing such a large order. I ordered like nine pairs of shoes. Um, I gave one to my sister, but so I'm only gonna be showing you guys eight, but anyways, because I always get sidetracked. Um, I ordered the shoes on November 24th, did not get them until last week, which is like what, January, <sighs> what day is it today? The 23rd, I think I got them on like the 17th or something like that. And it was just a nightmare. So the site said that they would, the shoes would come in five to 10 business days. I knew that because it was Black Friday, they were gonna have tons of orders, plus Christmas was coming up. I wasn't really expecting it in five to 10 days, especially from the UK to Canada. So I'm like, you know, I'll probably get them in two, three weeks. No big deal, even a month, I wouldn't really be pressed, but two months is crazy. So I don't really know what went wrong there, but just be mindful. If this is something that you're looking to get, you know, tomorrow in a couple of days, I don't know if Ego is gonna be that girl. I don't know if this was just a bad, time for them or is it because i ordered so many shoes like I, I don't know but just keep the shipping in mind and keep the duties in mind when you're ordering from ego so yeah with that being said i'm going to show you guys the first pair of shoes that i bought from ego so just give me one second all right you guys so the first pair of shoes that i got from ego are these boots right here and they're super cute they are this croc skin cream tan kind of leather well pleather boot and these are so cute. I love the style. I have a white pair that's really similar from Fashion Nova, but these ones come up a little bit higher, which I really liked. And they're just really, really cute. The heel is really different. It's like a wedge, but like in a triangle shape. So it's not much like a block, but I thought that that was really, really cool and really different. And some of the um, heels that I got, you'll see have this exact same heel as well. So I thought that these were great. What I like about heels like this is if you're plus size, it supports your weight a lot better than a stiletto heel. I have a little bit of an issue with the stiletto heels and being able to like support my weight and walk in them properly. So I do prefer these wedge types, but these boots are really, really cute. I like them. 
look and fit wise 10 out of 10 it's a true size 11 the only thing i would say is they're not the most comfortable heel and that's likely because i have very very flat feet so anything that has a deep curve like this or a deep arch i should say like this is not really comfortable for me for long periods of time but i'm very much a style over comfort sometimes so i still like these and i'm still gonna wear them but you know beauty is pain <laughs> so yeah these are really really nice and oh yeah they have the zipper on the inside obviously but i'm happy with these i can't can't complain so let me show you guys the next pair of shoes i feel like the reoccurring theme for this video is platform heel like <laughs> i feel like a lot of these things are like platforms but platforms are just like so comfortable and they give you the height and the look so that's why i'm so obsessed with the platform heels so with saying that my next pair of shoes are these platform black patent leather boots they are also in a croc skin with the little stretchy sides here and you guys i know these look big and chunky but when i tell you these are so lightweight and comfortable they they understood the assignment these are really really comfy and they do make you really really tall with this chunky heel but they're super cute you can wear this with a skirt with your jeans with shorts like you can do so much with a boot like this so i think that these are really cute um remember i was saying i gave a pair to my sister i had bought her the brown version of these so that was what the other shoe was but you guys i love these very comfortable perfect for the girlies with wide flat feet i think you'll really enjoy these ones and if you're looking for a comfortable but stylish shoe i think you'll like these it's perfect for the winter fall seasons like i said you can do a lot with this style boot so i'm really really happy with it i actually wore them already as you can see but i really really like these ego you gave me a little bit of hell, but the shoes are giving. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I'm really, really impressed and happy with these shoes. So yeah, let me get you guys the next shoe. Okay, so next up, we have a, another pair of boots. These are super cute. They are this brown sock boot style with a chunky heel. Um, a little bit platformish, but not like super platformy. Um, but I really, really like these. These are so comfortable. Like, this sock boot material is chef's kiss like i love these the color is just everything i love me a chocolate brown again this is a really nice fall shoe i feel um but i really like these they have nice gripping on the bottom as well so that's a plus and again perfect for the flat foot white foot girlies i got you covered like when i tell you guys my feet are flat and wide it's very much La Cienega, like I'm not joking. So these are super comfortable. The heel is not too high and I feel like it's not too much of an arch because we have this platform and a very thick heel. So I think that you will like these super comfortable sock boot material. Can't go wrong, really soft. So I'm really happy with these. And the chocolate brown is just, it's giving luxe. It's giving baddie, like comfy but bad at the same time. I love that. So yeah, I really, really like these. Let's get into the next pair of shoes. So in the spirit of stock boots and platforms, I basically have a hybrid of every boot I just showed you. <laughs> and we have these thick, chunky platform sock boots. Aren't they cute, you guys? It's very much giving me Yeezy, like the nude, but like chunky heel with the sock boot vibe. Like this is very much Yeezy. These are freaking huge though. Like look at how big these are. Like this is like another one that I feel like would make your look your feet look bigger than they already are but like i just don't care like i just love the style and what i like about these shoes from ego with the chunky platform heels like even though they look like they are going to be so heavy they're just so lightweight like oops <laughs> see just light just falling on my hand but super cute super comfy the sock boot with the platform it's a combo like it's such a good combo and i love these again very much fall and this color is just mm, it's just mm. and what i love about this nude beige color is that you can do so much with it like in terms of what colors you could wear with it so i'm really really happy with this and it has oh this is like leather the little thingy on the back there i don't know what you call this but really really nicely designed i think they did a great job and i can't wait to wear these you guys will definitely see me on the gram in these boots so make sure you guys follow me on instagram i will have it linked down below and yeah i'm i'm impressed i don't know how much like okay if i if you guys see me say i'm gonna buy another pair of boots or another pair of platform heels like literally stop me because i feel like 
I overdid it. But these are the last pair of boots in this haul, I promise. So let's get into the next pair of shoes, you guys. Calling all the bad bitches. Calling all the bad bitches. So it's officially baddie time now. I'm gonna be showing you guys all the heels that I got. So like I said, no more boots. So first up, we have these. I know I'm really late to the trend, but these are cute and they were on sale. I think I got these for $12. So don't hate the player, hate the game. These are the Tom Ford dupes for the Tom Ford platform. Um, what do they call them? The disco heel, I think it is. So I got these. I loved the fur. I always wanted a pair of heels with a little fur on the top. So I thought that these were such a cute version of that. And the heel is really the star of the show, but super cute. These, however, are so uncomfortable. Like I was walking with these um, to take some pictures and I literally looked like I had to take a shit. Like I was literally walking like, <laughs> It was not cute. These are not comfortable. These are not anything. It has a very, you know, the arch. So I thought that because they were a platform, they were going to be comfortable. But this, this deep swooshing arch for girls with flat feet, if you know, you know, the girls that get it, get it. The girls that don't, don't. This is not for us. It's not for us. But I'm so worried. It's like, this is the type of shoe you wear if you have a section you've got a booth or something and you're just gonna be sitting and looking pretty all night and you don't have to walk very far to go to the car if that is not the case do not wear these shoes because you are gonna hate yourself you're gonna hate your life and it's not gonna be a fun time you're gonna look cute but you're gonna look like you have to take a poo anywhere you walk so that's what i will say they're not comfortable but cute yes is very much cute it's very much the yassification of the tom ford dupes so Love them looks wise, but comfort never gave comfort. So yeah. Oh, and they actually have like this like crux skin detail. I don't know why I'm showing you guys this because you probably can't see it. And when you have the shoe on, you can't see it, but I just thought it was worth mentioning, but very cute shoe, just not comfortable. Now, as you guys may or may not know, I love to wear neutral colored shoes because I just feel like they go with everything. But lately I've been wanting to kind of step out of that. I have a lot of black and white heels. So I was like, you know, it's time to venture out and get something a little bit cuter. So I went in and got these very much statement shoes. They're like an orange wedge heel, super cute. This part was a little bit tight for my feet. Again, the spirit of having white feet. So just be mindful of that. Um, after I wore it like twice, well, I wouldn't say wore it. After I tried it on like twice, it started loosening up and like it fits me a lot better now. But I remember the first time I put my foot in this and it was so tight. Like I'm like, oh, these don't fit. But today when I try them on for a second time, they actually fit a lot better. And like I was saying, the first pair of shoes that I got from Ego with the heel, it has the same like triangular um, heel, which I thought was pretty cool. But these aren't very comfortable either. I don't feel like any of these heels are comfortable. Like I'm just gonna be completely honest with you guys. Now that might be because I'm a rookie when it comes to like wearing heels for long periods of time. Like I'm not that girl who can walk into a marathon in a pair of heels. That's just not me. But you might be. So to you, this, this might be baby food. Like this might be nothing. But I don't find these kind of shoes comfortable. I just like how they look with my outfits and the colors. So this is very much a DJ in the section. Like most of my heels, I wear them when I know that I'm gonna be sitting for a large majority of the time. But color and style wise, very nice. I feel like it is a little bit cheaply made. Like the, I don't know if I can show you, but the heel here, it's like already like splitting and I've never worn them out. So that is a bit of, of a concern for me. And just like overall, it's just a little bit cheapy and rough around the edges. Um, especially in comparison to the other shoes. I feel like the other shoes were a bit nicer than this one, but this was on the cheaper side. So I'm not too pressed, but I did notice that it wasn't made as nicely and cleanly as the other ones. So just keep that in mind. All right, so next up we have a similar to the orange shoe. This one is pink, it's like a really nice hot pink and these are super cute, especially with the little white toes. They're just so cute. And it has the same style heel, triangle bottom, so I'm not really gonna get into that. This one is definitely constructed a lot better compared to the orange one that I showed you guys in terms of like the heel and everything. Um, so I'm happy about that, this is a lot better. But these are really, really cute. I don't have anything bad to say about these. They are not comfortable. Like I said, this is basically like the same style. 
so you can see the slope here so they're not the most comfortable shoe but they are really really nice and for my wide feet girls this right here is actually stretchy so this will stretch to the size of your foot so it's not too tight so i really really like that this was like a stretchy type of material here and then this part just goes around your heel and this part's not tight on my foot at all so i actually thought that this part here was comfortable in terms of not being too tight on your foot so they get a 10 out of 10 for that but yeah these were cute nothing too crazy so let's move on, on to the next shoe so we are still in the spirit of the statement color heels. So next up, I have this blue pair of heels right here. And you guys, these are super cute. The fit is really nice here in terms of white foot friendly. This does go between the toe. So shoes like this typically are a little bit uncomfortable and they get a little tight on your toe. But this one has like a, a good amount of space, but I still foresee it being a little uncomfortable for a long night. But in terms of the color and everything, I think it's a beautiful blue. And the heel is not bad. I was telling you guys earlier that I don't really like stiletto heels, but this one kind of starts skinny and then wide widens out a little bit. So it wasn't too bad in terms of like walking in, walking in it and stuff like that. So I'm really, really happy with these. Um, again, not the shoe that I would wear to walk around all day, they're heels. So that's a given in terms of comfort, but they do fit my wide feet with no problem. So I'm really, really happy about that. And yeah, they're fire. So period, let's get into the next pair. So last but not least, we have our little Fotega Bottegas. Okay, these are really, really cute. These are a great dupe for the Bottega Veneta sandals. Um, super cute, very thin heel, but it's not too high. So it's not so bad. These are actually more on the comfortable side um, in comparison to the rest of the heels that I got, surprisingly, um, with this thin heel. But this part here is really soft and padded. So it's actually a lot more comfortable than you would think. Um, love the mint green color. That's really the reason why I bought this. I just thought that the color was immaculate. Really, really nice summer shoe or vacation shoe. So I really, really like this. I was a little worried that this might not fit, but it fit perfectly. No concerns for the wide foot girls. So that's really, really good. And I think they did a great job with this shoe. It's actually really, really nice. I love the squared toes on heels. I just think that they just look so classy and cute. So I'm really, really happy Happy with this again not too high of a heel which is a plus um, especially with this thinner style heel that normally scares me but the Bottega too it's giving not Bottega too I don't know why I've been stuttering and stumbling all of my words throughout this entire video so I apologize but she's cute all right, you guys, so that concludes the haul for today. Thank you so much for watching. I think overall this haul was really, really great. Everything fit and gave what it was supposed to give, so I'm really happy about that. I think I would highly recommend the Torrid boots for my plus size girls because I just love that they fit our thighs. They have the grip on the inside to help them stay up, and the heel is not too high, and it's chunky, so it's really comfortable, and it's something that you can wear all day while still looking chic and cute. So I would highly recommend those boots from Torrid, but overall, I think I really, really love all the shoes that I got. I feel like the ones that were heels were really uncomfortable, but that's like a given with heels. Like heels are never comfortable. They're just about looking like a baddie. So it's not a big deal, but you guys will let me know what your favorite shoe was down below in the comments. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, join the YouTube family. We're going up all 2022, period. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys.